Evidence 1. Drug Usage Nathaniel Lee of CNBC states that, despite a steep decline in illicit drug users in the earlier years, drug use in the U.S. is climbing again, and more quickly than ever. According to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, the number of illicit drug users rose to 13% of Americans 12 years or older in 2019, nearly reaching its peak from 40 years ago. The goal of the war on drugs was to decrease drug usage and prevent drug-related deaths. It hasn't made much progress. This quote is saying that the long impact of the war on drugs was still negative. This shows that the war on drugs' lasting effects were negative, and in the long run, they wasted more than a trillion dollars on something that was a failure in the end and was pointless, therefore proving our thesis statement. Evidence 2. Pablo Escobar After fleeing his custom-built prison, La Cedral, in 1992, Escobar was gunned down on a suburban rooftop in 1993. The operation involving both the Colombian and U.S. governments, with help from the rival Cali cartel, toppled the Medellin cartel. However, this did little to hinder Colombia's cocaine trafficking and production, with the Cali cartel, as the second largest organization, quickly filling the power vacuum. This quote from Alexander Felon is stating that after the death of Pablo Escobar and his cartel, many other cartels started to fill in what had been lost, further proving that the assassination of Pablo Escobar was ultimately useless, also escalating drug problems and while doing so, arising more threats. The CIA and the FBI assisted in Colombian government in taking out Pablo Escobar and taking down other drug dealers. However, we know taking out the other drug dealers was mostly unsuccessful.